so the new version of dot os is here and it is major also it is amazing for 3gb users too in this video i will try to mention the new things only instead of screen recording which will also give a nice impression of the room as well as benchmarks and other things like i do after many teasers on twitter it is time to use it in real So with this release, you will get new theme engine named as Mone Wannabe. You can find it in the lab under customization. You can enable or disable it which is a good thing and it is a useful feature for the users those who don't like. As you can see it looks ugly without it but after enabling it looks sexy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it is to change the amount of colors, higher will generate more colors, also it won't affect battery. Then below that slider you can see different colors which is generated from wallpaper and you can select any from it as per your liking. So the new Mone Wannabe theme engine works exactly same as Android 12. You need to apply the wallpaper and boom, it will change the system colors according to it. Also if you use wallpapers app from .OS then it will show the color that it picks from the wallpaper. With this update, the new package installer looks cool and has a different UI. Also with this release, the .OS team has changed the device maintenance policy and they are forcing the developers to build only user variant builds and also all official builds will be signed with strong cryptographic keys like OEMs too. Also there is good news for developers too, they can get access to Jenkins and all official builds will be done through Jenkins only which means we can get much faster updates. Then there is May security patch, also there is app lock and face unlock. Then there are some other changes as well, you can look at it. And if you want to watch the settings UI and customizations of this room then you can watch my portrait video which I released just before this video. Also I will add a card. Safety net doesn't pass with magisk, you need to enable magisk hide so that it can pass the test. Also I'm not using any modules to pass the test as you can see in this video. And the widevine is L1 by default. Gameplay. Let's do this. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Fucking you, bloody, 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 you, bloody,
So the gaming performance of this room is amazing and it is mind blowing. But the game can lag while screen recording at 720p. But the lag is very minor and you can still enjoy the game. Also the FPS is not that great in Battle Royale. But I have never played Battle Royale so I am not sure is it same in all rooms or not. Also I have played multiplayer mode for more than 1 hour and it works perfectly smooth without any lags. If you are still watching my video then subscribing to my channel would be great as I want to reach 2k subscriber as soon as I can and helping me out would be great. So please And now let's have a look at benchmark results and also don't miss pros and cons where I will share more information about this custom room. So the benchmark results are quite impressive as you can see in this video. And the thermal thwarting clash results is with 100 threats. So this custom room is the best out of all custom rooms which are based on Android 11. And the performance is amazing as the UI works perfectly smooth and there are no lags too. And the gaming performance is also great. So the UI of this custom room is amazing and looks completely different out of all custom rooms. And the inclusion of Mone Wanna B makes it completely different out of all rooms. So the customization in this room is perfect, it is not less, not even more, it is the perfect balance between both. Also the Widevine is L1 which is a good thing for the Netflix and Amazon Prime users. But great performance comes with bad RAM management. So this happened with me in Chrome browser where I opened the two tabs and switched between them. But the tabs were instantly reloading as soon as I switched between them. Also some heavy games like Call of Duty or any other game, it won't run in background. Though there is no major bugs, but there are minor bugs which I have faced. So now let's talk about the bugs that I have faced. So the first thing is network traffic indicator is kinda buggy. If you enable Mone Wannabe and then enable network traffic indicator, it won't show. But if you enable it before enabling Mone Wannabe, then it will show and then you can enable Mone Wanna B and the network traffic indicator will still work even after enabling. Also some users have faced a system UI crash while they are watching video in landscape with any other browser and if they try to access notification panel then the system UI might crash. It might be the problem of gapps that they are using. Also I am using gapps build so I never face that problem. Also this room comes with pre-installed google camera which is by Parrot and the version is 8.2 v4 and the stock kernel is Nexus EAS version 6. So in the end you should definitely flash it as the customizations is perfect, the UI is completely different and the performance is great too. Also this is the best Android 11 room that I've tested in a while. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe and share this video as well. Also follow me on Instagram.